Lately, people have been asking me about why I painted certain things in my house um, and how I painted certain things in my house. So I'm going to tell you. Um, this tree I just put up there because the plaster was not even and I was like, I just put a tree above my bathtub. What the heck? Um, and like these butterflies and this little skunk and the flowers across the border of this small bathroom is because, first of all, um, I, I had little kids come over a lot and, and visit me. And when they would come over, <clears throat> one, little <girl's laughs> one little girl told me that she had to go stinky, and I guess that was poo. And so I was like, no, that's not you. She, she was worried that she stunk up my bathroom, and I said, no, no. Uh, I think there's a skunk in there. So I painted Pepe Le Pew because I love all things French almost. Um, now, when I paint things like this, what I do is um, this particular one, I went ahead and drew out uh, the, the basic outline of the leaves and the flowers so I would have them have symmetry all across here. And I just do the, the shape with a pencil. Or I use a marker, but not a permanent marker, so that you can wash it off, especially if you have enamel walls. It'll uh, paint on the wall. It'll just wash off really easy if you make mistakes. And um, then I did the flowers, lay in the flowers, things like that. And I like en enamel paints a lot because they wash off. Um, the same thing with the doors. This is a was inspired by uh, some flowers I saw in a book about Dutch painters. And so I just lay out the middle flower. I draw the basic outline of the shape. Um, and then I really didn't draw. Well, I guess I took I did take a marker and do this, I think. Or did I? I can't remember. Anyway, you put, <laughs> you put lines in. I do the basic outline of the three shapes, so the, the, the concept of the three of them and the design line. And then I just kind of lay in the other flowers and go from there. But I usually always take that marker and put the basic one on there. And like I said, not a Sharpie marker. Um, the same thing with the doors. The, the doors... The people are always like worried about having per perfect measurements, but what I did was just take a little saucer and just stick it in the middle of it, this a door, and <clears throat> drew uh, a pencil line circle around it. And then I just do that flower all the time, you know, freehand. So this, and I took a piece of tape and ran it across here because I didn't measure everything because I just, I, it was one of those evenings when I just didn't feel like doing it. I just figured I could eyeball it and so I did. Um, and then I did these. I like the metallics a lot. This little metallic paint I put in there in the, in the hearts. And to get this pearlized kind of a look on the woodwork, uh, what I do is I paint it this color and then I painted a marble or a uh, opalized wash over it. And let's see, and when I do color blocking, like when I do a commercial building and I'm going to do color blocking like this, what I call color blocking, where I choose which places the colors go, I look at uh, the architecture of the building and decide what's going to be the accent wall and what's going to be the impact wall. And that's how I choose where to put the colors at. And it was just the architecture of this door. I just drew these out really fast. Or, well, the outline, like I said, of this. And the same with the Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid, I just drew her out with a little marker. The basic outline. And then I just fill in the rest with paint. So, mainly you're painting. You're just drawing the basic outline. Tweety Bird, though, I drew him. <laughs> so I see him when I go down. 
<laughs> my stairs because I'm always thinking about what I need to do. And the basement is the same thing. Uh, I had a problem with a uh, water problem and it got all over the white, so now I have to redo this, which is kind of pissing me off because the white wasn't sealed yet because I had just done the checkerboard, so now I have to redo and paint all this again and fix all this from the water that came up in the basement. I'm doing a lion. Well, so well, it's like fixing the stuff that I've already done pisses me off. I don't like that, having to do that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And this, I just, I took a pencil and drew the basic outline and I drew halfway down to about here and the upper half of her and then started doing flowers and then put the lines in for the rest of the dress. And later on, I just did the border all the way around. I just wanted it to be brown. This, this door I actually used a, some stencils on, on this part. This is all freehand. Uh, but the fruit of leaves I, I used, did I use a stencil on the fruit of leaves? Yeah, I did use a stencil on the fruit of leaves, and I did on this. But that's about it. Oh, yeah, the peacock door. The peacock door. The peacock door, I was at the dollar store, and I saw this peacock at the dollar store, and I thought, oh, this peacock is cool. So I looked at it, and I noticed its basic outline pattern. So I came home and just drew the, the outline pattern and just then uh, painted in the rest of it. Uh, I used a stencil on this. This is all freehand. And the peacock feathers down here, this is this is freehand. So I just add to stuff and just build and keep building. I let's see. I'm thinking that I need like a little Pepe Le Pew or um Speedy Gonzalez. Like, wouldn't it be funny to have a Speedy Gonzales, like, up here? I was thinking about painting a Speedy Gonzales up there. Just for fun. So, that's, what, that's how I do those. Okay.